While Matt finishes um, screwing in the last of the screws on the roofing sheets, um, I thought I would do a quick recap of our day. So we had five sheets left to do on the roof um, and we had to cheekily go and order some more sheets from Bunnings during the week because it turns out that um, we ran out of sheets only due to our own um, um, learning process you know only because we're not pros at roofing so we uh, had to go to Bunnings and order some more roofing sheets they arrived during the week and then we finished the roofing had to go along and do some crimping at the ends of the roofing sheets where it joins the roofing caps um, to stop water going down so that was a bit bit backbreaking we put on the roofing caps that's what Matt's doing now all the way along the top of the roof and all of the apexes along the front and side of the roof of the roof of the house and we also managed to put in a our kitchen window so that was exciting let me um do a little bit of a pan around here so that's our bifold doors behind me there and there is our matching kitchen window looking out onto our alfresco so exciting so exciting to finish the roof today means that we can move on to some internal stuff and it also means from a um, process of building the house that we get to order the next stage from PAL from the kit home company that we've gone through um, and that is all the internals so there's a bit of a six there's a six to eight week turnaround for ordering those so we'll order those and hopefully in six to eight weeks when it arrives we will have wrapped the house would have done some cladding and we'll be in a better position to start looking at the internals so very exciting probably have a bit of a roof drink tonight celebrate the roof um, as we plan for the next few things coming up it's all very exciting Every time you lost, I wonder if you know you're